everyone, this is Yekalpana here in this video. We are going to solve a problem from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem, solve d square minus 3d plus 2 into y equals to cos hx. We know that cos hx equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Okay, solution. Given differential equation. d square minus 3d plus 2 into y equals to cos hx where or which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2 and q equals to cos hx. Again, this cos hx can be written as 1 by 2 times or 1 by 2 into e power x plus e power minus x. That is, we have q which is an exponential function, right? So, here we can say that we are given a problem of the form f of d into y equals to e power ax. Okay, where a is a real number. So, by considering f of d into y equals to 0, we will find a complementary function. Okay, so firstly we need to find solution to this problem which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yp is a complementary function and yp is a particular integral. So we get this using auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0 and we'll get yp using 1 by f of d into q. Okay, we'll see this later and now let's use auxiliary equation to find complementary function. So, the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to replace operation sorry differential operator d by m then you'll get m square f of m equals to m square minus 3m plus 2 right then our auxiliary equation will be f of m equals to 0 for f of m m square minus 3m plus 2 equals to 0 then m square minus split this minus 3m as minus 2m minus m and the third term as it is now take m common from first two terms you'll get m times m minus 2 now take minus 1 common from the next two terms you'll get minus of m minus 2 equals to 0 see minus into m minus m minus 2 minus plus 2 right now, we are having m minus 2 in both the terms. So, let's take m minus 2 common from these two. You'll get m minus 2 times m minus 1. Right? By equating each factor to 0, we'll get m equals to 2 and m equals to 1. That is, m equals to 1 and 2, which are real and distinct. are the roots of f of m equals to 0 which are real and distinct. We know that if two roots are real and distinct then the general solution is given by 
y equals to or the complementary function is given by y c equals to constant into e power 1 root into x plus c to another constant into e power other root into x. So, our y, y c will be then our complementary function. y c will be c1 e power 1 into x plus c2 e power 2 into x right therefore y c equals to c1 e power 1 into x x plus c2 e power 2 into x 2x so now we got complementary function now we need to find particular integral. So here in this problem we don't have any repeated rules, right? We have real and distinct roots. Now we'll see particular integral. y p equals to 1 by f of d into q for q equals to sorry for f of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2 into for q cos h x that is you can write cos h x as 1 by 2 into e power x plus e power minus x. Again, you can write the word as 1 by 2 into 1 by d square minus 3d plus 2 into e power x plus 1 by f of d, d square minus 3d plus 2 into e power minus x. Now, let's find both separately. Okay, first we will find this 1 by, consider it as some particular integral 1 and the second term as particular integral 2, it will be easy, right? So, particular integral 1 equals to 1 by d square minus 3d plus 2 into e power x which is equals to now we are having f of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2, right? Now, we'll see whether f of 1 is equals to 0 or not equals to 0. Okay, let's put d equals to 1. We'll get f of 1 then. 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus 2 equals to 1 plus 2, right? 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 3 equals to 0, right? Since f of 1 equals to 0, so, we can't apply d equals to 1. So, what we'll do? We'll write just 1x into 1 by find f dash of d. Since f of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2, then f dash of d will be 2d minus 3. Right? f dash of d here. Okay? 2d minus 3 into e power x. Now, again, We'll check whether f dash of 1, right? Here you are having 1, right? So, this 1, f dash of 1 is equals to 0 or not equals to 0. We'll get 2 into 1 minus 3 equals to 2 minus 3, which is equals to minus 1 and it is not equals to 0. So, yes, you can substitute d equals to 1 now. Since f dash of 1 is not equals to 0, right? Then you'll get x into 1 by. So, f dash of 1 is minus 1 into e power x. Okay. Or we can just write two more steps if you wish.
since f dash of sorry f of 1 equals to 0 then this equals to x into 1 by f dash of d into e power x okay again since f dash of d or 1 is not equals to 0 then you'll substitute 1 by f dash of d value then you'll get 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus 2 into e power x which is equals to x into 1 by minus 1 into e power x which is equals to minus x e power x okay or you can just write directly the value of f dash of 1 okay f dash of d can be okay we'll just write f dash of 1 fine So we got particular integral 1 equals to minus x e power x. Therefore, pi 1 equals to minus x e power x. Now let's find pi 2. One by f of d into e power minus x cube, right? Equals to, now we'll see, we are having f of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2. Now let's check for f of minus 1, f of minus 1 equals to minus 1 whole square, plus 3 into minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to minus 1 whole square is 1 minus 2 minus plus 3 plus 2 which is equal to 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 2 6 not equals to 0 since f dash sorry f of minus 1 is not equals to 0 then we can replace d by minus 1 then you'll get f of minus 1, okay? Equals to 1 by, write the value of f of minus 1, which is 6. Okay? Therefore, pi, this is 2, right? Equals to e power minus x by 6. So, we got pi 2 value. Equals to e power minus x by 6. Now, our yp will be yp equals to 1 by 2 into replace the value of first pi that is minus x into e power x plus replace the value of second pi 2 Oh, sorry, pi2, that is e power minus x by 6, then we'll get minus 1 by 2 into x into e power x, plus, plus into plus plus, right? 1 by 2 into e power minus x by 6. Either you can leave yp like this, or just you can write this as, 1 by 2 into e power minus x by 2 minus x e power x. Okay? Or you can write this. Anything. So, therefore, yp equals to 1 by 2 into e power minus x by 6 minus x e power x. Then our general solution will be therefore the general solution is actually given by y equals to 
yc plus yp then y equals to we have yc c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus yp 1 by 2 into e power minus x by 6 minus x e power x. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.